It's another Jubal phone tap. 107.3 KFFM. Hello. Hi, is this Scott? Uh, yes, this is he. Hey, Scott, how are you? My name is Colby Sazerac, and I'm with Staffing and Temp Agency. Oh, sure. Hi. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm good. How are you, sir? Not too bad. I'm actually pretty excited because I think I just booked you a job that I would say is pretty incredible. Oh, really? Uh, tell me about it. Oh, I'd love to. <laughs> I'll start with the pay. It actually pays 50 bucks an hour. That's great. That's uh, a lot more than I've had before, so thank you. Yeah, no problem. And guess what? The job is guaranteed for three weeks, and also it could turn out to be permanent if they like you enough. Oh, wow. This is a call that I've been waiting for. Um, <laughs> so what's, uh, what's the job entail? Well, you'll be working down at the county morgue. Oh. You know what that is, right? Yeah, that's um, yeah. for people who have passed. Yeah, they store the deads there. So I hope you're not <laughs> squeamish or anything like that, because that might be a deal breaker. Well, I'm assuming that I'll be doing paperwork, correct? No, this is much more hands-on. They actually want to hire you to mechanically suck out the gas from dead people's rear ends. <laughs> what? Yeah, you know, they do autopsies there, and I guess they've had a lot of problems with corpses passing gas. I guess it's still in their system for a while, so they need someone to go in there and kind of suck it out. And they want to attempt to do that? I'm not really trained to do that. I mean, Well, and that's the thing. So I spoke with them on the phone, and I talked you up because you've worked in the cleaning industry before, and you've got experience with vacuums. So I thought, no-brainer, you've got a vacuum, right? Uh, they want me to bring my own vacuum? Yeah, they asked if you could supply the vacuum. You really want me to use my home vacuum? The one that I clean my floor with? Well, I don't really care what kind of vacuum you use, but yeah, you might as well if it's laying around the house. Um, and here's the thing. You know, the previous guy who was the fart sucker there ended up retiring. So this is one of those job opportunities you could have for a while. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is that, so this is the actual title. It's a, it's a fart sucker? Uh, flatulence removal or something like that. I don't know, but layman's terms, fart sucker is what it is. Right. And, and so you'd be doing that for, you know, eight hours a day for who knows the next 30 years if you're lucky. Oh my God. You seem a little shocked and I'm sure you are because job opportunities like this don't come around often. So you're welcome. Uh, well, that's true. They're certainly pretty far and few between. I'm just a little shocked just because most of the stuff that I've been sent out on and I've done before is really just, you know, tedious work of paper filing, right. copying. Yeah. I, I don't need like a medical degree for this or a background like that. No, you don't because, I mean, they're dead. Can't really hurt them more than they already have been. <laughs> right, but there isn't like any specific procedure for this. Uh, no, not that they told me. They just said they need somebody with a vacuum. Other than that, um, listen, I, I'm I really appreciate you, you know, giving me this opportunity. I, I'm just not really sure that this is precisely in my wheelhouse. What you know? What all you have to do is just think of it as taking the air out of a really old tire, a really smelly old tire. I never really pictured myself, you know, doing this sucking farts out of the deceased for my whole life. Oh, you know what? Don't be so hard on yourself. I'm not trying to be hard on myself. I'm just trying to be realistic. You know what? I think that you have the perfect skill set to suck farts out of dead people, and I think you're being a little bit of a downer. Um, you know what? You're right. You know, you make good points. The money is fantastic. So um, I guess I'm ready to start sucking farts. <laughs> Wonderful. In that case, I should probably tell you this is a prank phone call before you start fart sucking. What do you mean? Yeah, this is actually Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning doing a phone tap on you. Your sister Amy set you up. Wait, what's going on? Your sister told me that you've been working with a temp agency and they've sent you on some really strange jobs recently. Oh my God. So she wanted to play a joke on you. I can't <laughs> believe I fell for that. <laughs> Although, sucking farts does sound like a better job than filing. <laughs> Yeah. Let's start a business. What do you think? You want to go into business? <laughs> Let's do it. I'm happy to do it. Let's go. <laughs> Jubal phone taps. Catch him every weekday at 720 and 920 with Brooke and Jubal in the morning. 1073 KFFM.